Welcome back, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Update. Well, it's no surprises. Bitcoin has gone nuts over the last 12 hours. We've gone up about 20% in the last 10 days. And in this video, we're going to look at Bitcoin's bullish Wyckoff signal that apparently no one is talking about, according to this crypto YouTuber. And we're also going to look at altcoins because we've been talking about it on the channel for some time. So if you haven't already, make sure you are following the journey because... There is a ton of these videos on the channel. I'm, I have been doing them daily all year. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're going for 220,000. Let's see if we can get there before Bitcoin does. And make sure you've liked the video as well. Hit all on the bell notification icon so you see the content come up. Reason being is we were looking at the China FUD. We're looking at Evergrande. So the China FUD was um, China banning cryptocurrency transactions. Looking at this as a good time to be buying uh, Evergrande. Look at that, no big deal after all of that. I've got hidden patterns on the channel. These are looking at the bottoms and we did see a turn on the 21st of September on this sort of pattern as well. Looking here at buying more cryptocurrency, talking about the China collapse. If you didn't have any more money to purchase the dips because you're following everyone else telling you to buy every single bloody dip, Check out this video as well. The point I'm making here is if you're following along the journey, there are ways to continue to get back into the market and clear out your weak horses and get into some of the stronger stuff. And uh, a lot of the content is covered here. And most recently, we're looking at Link as being potentially weak. And we'll look at that today after we look through the Bitcoin pump situation. So first up, let's go to CoinGecko. And we're looking at all of the cryptocurrencies against their BTC values because we want to find some strong horses as well as uh, looking at Bitcoin and this signal that no one's talking about in terms of the Wyckoff analysis. So the strong stuff, I quickly go to CoinGecko, click this button here. Instead of it being on US dollars, I'll click Bitcoin and then I'll just look under the 24 hours just to see which cryptos have been or which cryptos are strong against Bitcoin while Bitcoin has been strong. That is a first sign for me that some cryptos are going to be stronger, but we have to look at the chart as well because their patterns might just not be that strong. So what we see is Solana up three, Polkadot at two. We have all of the stable coins down around eight, nine, 10% because that's how much crypto or how much Bitcoin is up. We have Chainlink up about 1% and we have a few of these others which are up a few more percent. And ICP, which is one of the trades, is also up a few percent. Filecoin up seven, VeChain up four, Axie Infinity gone nuts, 40% up against Bitcoin, and Theta Network at 7%, which is one that I've been picking on a lot and I have it on the channel today. So the next thing I want to look at is the total market caps. And this one is all of the total market caps. So because Bitcoin's in this as well, we can see that the highs were a reasonable amount lower than the previous high that we had in May, but we are starting to cross the swing tops. So that's a good sign of strength. Now, if we take Bitcoin out of the equation and look at all the market caps except for Bitcoin, excluding the BTC market cap, this includes Ethereum as well. We can see that the highs were a little lower, but not as bad as including Bitcoin. All right, and then if we go to total three, which is all of the cryptocurrencies except Bitcoin and ETH, we can see that we had a double top here, pretty close to dead on the money of a double top. And the market has now started screaming back towards that high as well. We bounced nicely off the 50% level. And so the cryptocurrencies are getting stronger and we just want to find some of the strong stuff. Well, personally, that's what I want to do. Looking at the, the uh, BTC.D, which is the dominance, we can see that the dominance hasn't broken down, but it's not getting that bounce on. So this might lean over towards some altcoins getting a bit of a move. So we've got to make sure we're picking right. And from this point, if we do start to see the dominance increase, then of course the show is stolen by BTC and we probably won't get those moves in the altcoins overall. There is going to be some that you can pick out, but overall it's probably going to be Bitcoin's show. So the signal that no one's looking at and this is what i was looking at back in april as well you guys have been following for several months now uh, if you, let me know in the comments down below if you were around in april when we were looking at the top coming in getting a little worried that we had three days down from that all-time high then the market went 11 straight days down and that's 
once the boom came or once the market went up into May, everyone was calling for $80,000 Bitcoins. Let me know if you were around in that time because this is what I was using and I'll show you on the chart as well at that time to give me a bit of a signal that I don't think we're going to $80,000 at that point. So number five here, time your commitment with a turn in the stock market index. So the, the main thing here is a change of character of price action. So it's either called a change of character or change of behavior. The same thing is just called two different things. So we want to see uh, such as the largest down bar on the highest volume after a long uptrend. All right. So checking the Bitcoin chart after a long uptrend. So we had a long uptrend. We all know that is from March of 2020 into April of 2021. Now it's going to get a little bit messy on the chart, but we want to see some volume. And we did see it a couple of times through this period as well, but we didn't see three straight days down. And through this period at the high, we got an inside, a down, down, and then a big down. And you can see the volume here was pretty high. That led me to think this is potentially a change in behavior compared to everything we've just seen. And it might be prudent to be a little bit more close, keep protect my money a little bit more than go wild into Bitcoin while the altcoins were going a little crazy just for these few weeks before everything died out. So the main thing here, and I'm going to get to what we're looking at today, is this bar on the 18th of April, big volume, and I was waiting for the market to break back above this change of behavior bar to let us know that, all right, we think that the market has now changed its behavior. It's come through that behavior. It's gone from bearish back to bullish. And we fell short of that by a few hundred dollars. We got to 59,600 and this high on this bar was 60,400. So about $800, call it a thousand bucks for a round number. So we fast forward to today. This is on a smaller time frame now. We are looking at a daily chart, but this was the bar I was waiting for. I had this yellow line here. If you'd see in the previous videos, this is the bar, 47,300. Big volume came in. This was a few days on the way up. Change of behavior. So this is a shorter term signal at the moment because the next one is the the bar on the 7th of September, which the high coming in at 53,000, call it 52,900, so 53. Big volume, change of behavior. Market was up for ages. Huge volume, huge price action on that bar. So to get back above that 53,000 level, that's probably going to be the most conservative entry for Bitcoin and then the market will probably start to start to move pretty well from that point in time. So the first one I've got here is the 20th of September. Yesterday saw that taken out. This is my signal that I look for when I'm using Wyckoff analysis on the daily time frame. Now, I don't use this because I don't trade intraday on four hours or one hours or anything like that. And if you are looking at those smaller time frames, they are not going to call bigger turns in the market. I'm going to need to see at least a daily, probably a weekly to get the big turns in the market. Now to the weekly chart and I can now get rid of this smaller 50%. We are above the 50% now. The $47,000 level was that important level that we wanted to see the market get above. And obviously the week hasn't ended yet. We still have another two days to go. So we definitely want to see this week close above the 47,000 level as more sign of strength. And this yellow line is our swing chart. So if you want to know more about swing charting, because this allowed us to get out at around $50,000 and enter back at around $37,000. And of course, I've got other strategies of how I enter the market at other price points on fearful days, like we're doing through these lows. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is the low, but we just want to get in through those low areas. But if you want to learn more about swing trading, definitely check out the Investor Accelerator. There's a link to this in the description down below. And for people who are interested, there's a ton of videos here. You can see all of the titles there. You've got technical analysis. I've got a ton of stuff there. Technical analysis, putting it together so you can come up with your own trading plan. Uh, obviously, extras that you can get involved with. There are more courses being added. If you want to understand Wyckoff, there's a nice quick 20-minute course here on the volume. There's again, Swing Trader Accelerator as well. So this is your Wyckoff Accelerator Pro. Lots of things to look at, including shakeout bars, tests, no demand and, and warning and up thrusts. Very quick videos, which more will be coming on that too. And then for 
the GAN swing accelerator, quite a few quick videos here to give you an idea of how to use it and how to practically apply it to your charts, just like the way you see me do it on the channel, plus some big bonus videos as well on how we uh, do it step by step. So what do I wanna see next for Bitcoin and some strength into the market? Well, first up, I've got this top here on the 18th of September, the little poke above. That comes in at 48,800, so call it 49,000. Then of course we have $50,000 as a psychological level. And then the previous top, which called the market and got that crash in is at around 53,000. So there are quite a few numbers close together. The most conservative point would be above the 53,000. Currently, I like the look of this as it broke through that uh, that high of the bar. So 47,500, that was the level that I've been waiting for. And these levels were the most fearful, good times for an entry. And it's not too far off that point at the moment. We're about 20% up from that. And if we look to Bitcoin to get to 90, 100, $120,000 at a conservative level, I think for this cycle, then we still have a couple of multiples left in the entire game for Bitcoin. As for ETH, it's also looking pretty reasonable. It still needs to get above some of these bars. It hasn't put in the same sort of highs or it hasn't broken the same sort of tops that Bitcoin has at the moment, but it didn't have to start from such a low level. So I think once we get above that $3,400 level, that's going to give us some more support and for the cause of us going higher sooner rather than later. Of course, it's only October. We're waiting for this rest, uh, the rest of this quarter. And I think as we begin to grind through October, like we've seen in the previous videos, looking at September as being the the crunch month, October being the month that comes back, and then we start to get that push on through November and December. I think we're just going to have to be patient for this month and just prepare for some of that bullishness coming in a few months, a couple of months. As for ADA, it's also doing its thing. It slowed down. It broke above the downtrend as we've looked at on the channel, came back, sat on the 50% near that $2 level, and it slowed the bleed at the moment. We need to get above these levels of 250. So for now, while it grinds around 2 and $2, it's okay. Link, this was one that I was uh, looking at the other day. Some people probably say I was picking on it here, uh, Cardano and Link News. The main thing I was looking at was is it in a good position against B BTC? Well, of course, it's low. That's a good thing. But if it starts to break down beneath these low levels of around 0 0.0005, that could mean that we might see further downside against Bitcoin, its Bitcoin value. And that's a weak horse. So we don't want to be getting into weak horses. Strong horses will, be begin will start to break through their previous highs and then their 50% levels. That's what we want to see. And also DeFi hasn't been moving that much since about uh, August of 2020. That was the previous top. So it might be time, but I'm not going to preemptively get onto something and I don't need to be buying the exact low. I'd rather be buying something that's in momentum already. I'd rather be on something that's rolling rather than waiting for it to start rolling like Theta. And Theta wasn't rolling and it got off to a few false starts and it has since slowed the bleed but continues to bleed out so keep an eye on these cryptos i don't think they're ready just yet but they're getting to that point where they could be ready so theater is still on my watch list as a good project same deal with link it's something that i already hold theater i don't and so i'm look just looking for entries now that bitcoin is at least starting to show those signs of wanting to break out and begin this next journey of uh, the bitcoin bull market at least above its next you know get to the next new all-time high. That's it for today's video. Make sure you're subscribed and like the video up if you found some value from it. See you on Instagram or Twitter. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend. I'm about to get out into the surf. I'm super excited. I'll, I'll talk to you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.